So remember when Cursor AI was the golden child of AI tools? Yeah, about that. Let me tell you the pricing disaster the Cursor team made that made everyone lose their minds and their wallets. We're talking about surprise bills in the hundreds of dollars, rate limits appearing out of nowhere, and a new pricing structure that makes tax law look so much simpler. So this is actually the story of how Cursor went from shut up and take my money to wait, 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 I gotta check this out first. So first, let's set the scene. As we all know, Cursor has been crushing it in the past year and they've reached literally like $500 million ARR. And not only that, they've also managed to raise $900 million at 9.9, .9, which is $10 billion kind of like valuation from Thrive, Axel, and Anderson, and DST. So us as developers, when we read this news, we were super happy because that meant Cursor AI is just gonna thrive more and more. They're gonna support small indie developers like me and you. And of course, they're gonna make the best flagship AI coding editor as they possibly could. But all of a sudden, Cursor, in the past couple of days on July 3rd and 4th, they decided to completely overhaul their pricing strategy and change literally everything without any transparency, without any messaging to their customers. And they literally just broke everything. And broke customers actually trying to work on their products. So what they did is the new or the legacy $20 per month pro plan. So on June 6th, what they did exactly is actually turn this from, you know, limited to unlimited, like literally unlimited agency use without clarifying what type of agents agent to be used or what models are provided. They just said unlimited and unlimited type completions. It was like the heaven. It was literally the complete package you need. Like it made ultra sound a little kind of overpriced and not needed anymore, which a lot of people may, were happy. Among them I, was me. I was thinking, oh, that's pretty great. We're going to have uh, fun with this one. And I've been using Cursor for more than a year, never seen any rate limits, never seen any issues. I just always use it every day, even weekends. And it just works flawlessly. But on July 3rd, they decided to change the pro plan in here to extended limits on agents. Now, instead of unlimited, we've got extended limits on agents, but we don't know what's the limits of that. There's no transparency. I mean, what, you're supposed to just Lime code into your red of like tokens and, and uh, limit, like breach the limits. Is that what it is? Which wasn't really great. So before we continue, I want to introduce you to my new project, which is called 1MCP that allows you to run any model context protocol without the complexity with one click. So you can head over to 1MCP.io so you can download for Windows and Mac absolutely for free. And this will just give you the opportunity to run any model context protocol securely and configure it however you want inside of your machine. With a lot more features, we've been recently actually releasing absolute awesome new features like the memory for AI and LLM. So you can have a memory layer that connects all your agents like Cursor, Cloud, Cloud Code, uh, maybe Gemini Code and any other agents through MCP and save all the memories in one place so you can have the shared context between all the agents, which is absolutely phenomenal. Plus, you're gonna get hundreds of MCPs available out of the box. So all you need to do is just click and the MCP is gonna be running. So simply, you can download this from 1MCP.io to get started for free. And on Twitter, it went absolutely crazy. Like a lot of people started posting about this. Oh, I'm getting this when I'm already on pro plan. Uh, like something like you've hit your free request limit, upgrade to pro for more usage, something like that. You know, random weird things happening. Uh, guys having like, oh, you can't use max mode uh, because of that. And people do not know why. That's the, that's the main problem in my opinion, is there no clear communication of why this is happening and how can I like pay you more? And when I pay you more, how much do I guess? You know, all this transparent pricing kind of model is very important especially when dealing with, you know, AI models that are priced with tokens and, you know, you pay per token and stuff like that. So you need a clear pricing strategy. And other people here actually were saying, oh, current price of model cursor is really bad. I'm just able to send eight, literally eight cloud sonnet request in eight hours. That is just insane. And that's because I think the guy hit the limits and now they are absurdly rate limiting them and it just makes it sound really absurd and very very bad for the company without like career communication and other people were like oh can't believe cursor changed again unlimited agent request to extended limits on agents after like two weeks after the unlimited change happened and uh, yeah people were not really good and people were canceling their subscriptions because i'm canceling my subscription and moving to another one and they're looking for alternatives and some others are trying windsurf uh trying copilot I know Copilot is pretty bad compared to Cursor, but what you can do, I mean, at least has like transparent pricing. And some others, uh, I think they're paying for the $200 Ultra plan. Oh, I mean, this guy is saying that it took me three days to blow past the included limits on a $200 Ultra plan. That is just crazy. I mean, the guy here must be a real Vime coder, but still, without clear communication, this is really absurd. And if you just like go on Twitter, type in Cursor Limit, you're gonna find thousands of stories, just like July 3rd and July 4th, and this is absurd. But thankfully enough, 
Cursor came out with a new blog post, the Cursor founder, and they said clarifying our pricing. And this blog post is really nice. I mean, I really appreciate it going out in public and apologizing to customers. Plus, they clarified exactly how their pricing works, what models are included, and everything that you need to know. So the timeline of these things, June 16, original post released changes to Made Pro plan and Ultra introduced Teams plans unchanged. June 30, we updated the original post and our pricing page to improve their clarity. July 4th, we want to apologize and provide more details in this post. So the answer to the real question that everybody is looking at is how the new Cursor Pro subscription or plan works. Exactly what you get is unlimited usage of tab and models in auto. So you have to use auto mode, which will reroute and use the right model for the job, which I'm pretty sure most of the models are gonna be pretty bad. You're not gonna use like Sonnet 4 or Gemini 2.5 Pro or something like that. And you're gonna have $20 of Frontier model usage per month at API pricing and stuff like that are, you know, sign it for and, and you know frontier models and an option to purchase more frontier model usage at a cost okay so at least this is a little more uh, you know easier to understand and now oh i can purchase more and if you can just tell me how much it's going to cost me to purchase that would be great now this paragraph in here where they tell you we were not clear that unlimited usage was only for auto and not all other models so now you understand that auto mode is this is where the unlimited usage is which gonna like as i said before reroute you to the right model so maybe gpt i don't know what gpt is, is provided like 3.5 something like that i don't know what other proprietary models they have got like cursor models but what's telling you in here is going to have 20 dollars included usage per month of uh like, you know, 225 Sonnet request or 550 of Gemini request or 650 of GBC 4.1 request. And, you know, you have to focus on the or. It's not an end, but it's an or. So whether you use 225 of Sonnet or 650 or 550, I think if you use a combination of all these three, you're going to be, uh, you know, have uh, some calculations going behind the scenes and you're going to get the right usage for you. And I also like the fact that are actually apologizing. So they just say, oh, we recognize we're happening and we're sorry and everything. So that's pretty great. I love when companies do that. And let's hope they fix that ASAP and they make the pricing a lot more simpler. Something like how Klein does it or uh, Copilot, you know, something in kind of cursor that allows you to see the usage more clearly and you could, you know, know exactly what's happening instead of just like vibe code in 24 hours. And yeah, and I've actually also been able to hit the limits or almost hit the limits yesterday on this. So this is actually the first time me seeing this rate limit banner in here after using cursor for almost more than a, for, for more than a year actually. And I've seen this, oh, you've used 90% of your included usage, consider enabling pay as you go or switch to auto for unlimited requests to avoid interruptions. So yeah, that's what it means now. I think the blog post actually clarifies it a little more and hopefully they make a better job at this. Also, I've also seen, uh, as far as like I was checking the documentation, is if you go to the cursor docs in here and you search for pricing, you're going to get the pricing in here and it looks like they are in a new pricing plan for it's called Pro Plus at $60 per month for users, you know, coding with agents almost every day. And I think this one is a little better than just paying $200 per month and it's going to give you like extended usage and everything. So I think this is like the plan that most developers should go for. It's a little expensive, yes, but also using, you know, like stuff like Sonnet 4 and, uh, you know, Gemini and Frontier models are also expensive. So that actually makes a point. As we can clearly see in here, Sonnet 4 is going to be 675, uh, 1650 for Gemini and 1950 for GPT 4.1, which I'm pretty sure nobody uses, but still, I think Gemini and Sonnet 4, mostly Sonnet 4 for me, are going to be the top most used models. And it looks like they're also doubling this from the pro plan, so that's great.